I'm going to talk about my terraforming and how my terraforming relates with the new world order and one world order and one new world order and how um, it, it's supposed to bring about a global sense of world peace. The new world order was funded and created for world peace. The one world order was created and funded for world peace. <clears throat> the United Nations was created and funded for world peace as well too. And so what my terraforming information data entails is world peace, cultural, ethnic, world peace, and harmony, holy, sacred, divine, sinfulness, world peace. And that's what it's going to require to evolve, ascend and evolve humanity from a type zero civilization to a type one civilization relating with the carnage of scale. And so all this pollutive power sources and forces, we need to transmute the sinful dark, the sinfulness, light, and pick equal, and thus those pollutive power sources, we have to pick eco-friendly power sources. And um, that's how we evolve. We evolve humanity from a type zero to type one civilization and work with the one world order to eventually create money, stuff like glow coins and solar flare coins, solar flare money, solar money. That's eco-friendly as well too, to show the true power of what it means to ascend and evolve and help humanity evolve from a type past type one civilization to a greater type of civilization from two to three to four to, to infinity and to etern for eternity <clears throat> as well too thus because i'm supposed to be taking a life elixir around the age of 35 to 37 estimate and um well, i need to help fix everything and make sure everything's real and so that everything is uh as true as possible as well to pertain to the sales because if you want to keep an ecology living for a long t period of time sorry excuse me then you're gonna then you're gonna want true materials to sustain an ecology multiversally wise like on mother earth for example my mother she thought she never murdered mother from mother earth that entails uh lemuria atlantis and agartha Pearl creations, hierarchies, and governments of all Lord gods all need and organize as well, too. And so, um, I would hope that the elders can prepare meetings so that we can maybe discuss about this with the New World Order, with the Rockefellers, with the Rothschild family, the One World Order, the UN. The UN was created and funded for world peace as well, too, to take into consideration. And we want to create like an eco friendly. A revolution that's what this is what it's summarizing and concluding to in a multiversal global uh, ec economic restabilization revigorization and revigoration because of the global epiphany and global awakening the global spiritual movement and how it affects all dimensions uh, from zero to 12 to greater uh, all, and all, all material dimensions it affects material resource dimensions as well too, to ascend and evolve humanity from type zero to type one to a greater type of civilization relating with the Cartesian scale. And so that's what my uh, new world order and one world order would entail about at least to an ecology living and sustained with garden towers and farm towers to, as uh, that's there to prevent a global flood freeze as well too with oceanic nano water pumps on every single continent, including in the country of Australia to uh, show Um, to the world of how my last and murder mother from Mother Earth is totally sustained upon world peace. It's, it's going to be created and funded for world peace as well too, like the New World Order and the One World Order in the UN. Because if you want to talk about global harmony, that's what it's going to require to bring about a global one world government, multiversal one world government. Uh, sinfulness, holy, sacred, divine, eternal, infinite, peace. And so I will talk and discuss more about this.